Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. And today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss how you can basically read a JSON file and load the content of the JSON file into a DynamoDB table, right? So without any further delay, let us directly jump into the lab section. And before going ahead with this particular discussion, I will request you to go through this particular video where I have explained how you can insert data in DynamoDB from Lambda. Okay, here I have given the code. So this particular code will help us to do this kind of JSON data read and write in DynamoDB. Okay, that is insert code will be almost same, right? So here I will be going to AWS Management Console. I will be going to DynamoDB and then here I will be creating a table and table name I will be giving demo yt, right? And partition key will be given by roll number, right? And suppose that is number data type, okay? And keeping all other properties unaltered, I will simply create the table, right? And it will take some time to create the table. Now, if you check our previous insert video, then we try to insert the data in DynamoDB from Lambda. Both are in AWS Management Console. They are completely related, no issue with access and all. But suppose you want to run this particular same insert thing from a particular editor that can be PyCharm or VS Code or maybe Google Colab or Jupyter Notebook like that, then either you should use AWS CLI to run the code, okay, where you will be already creating the connection or you can use Boto3 to create a session and then in session you can create the resource for DynamoDB and then you can write your code. So this approach I am going to show. That is, if your code is somewhere outside AWS and you are not using AWS CLI for connectivity, then how you can create the session and use that to insert the data in DynamoDB. Okay. So here the table is created, right? So I'll be going to AWS Management Console and here I'll be going to IAM and I'll be creating a user which will be having access to write the data in DynamoDB. Okay. Add users right and then here username i will give demo yt something and i want to give programmatic access so i will check that one i will go to next permission attach existing policies and i will search for dynamo db right maybe i will be giving full access right i will go to next tags next review right and i will create the user okay cool and here I will download this CSV file for reference, okay? Keep it safe. Right? And don't show this access key and secret key to anyone. I will be showing up because after this particular video, I will be deleting this, right? Okay. Now, we will go back to our code. So, first step in Google Colab, step 1 is pip install Boto3, okay? And then here what we are doing, we are importing Boto3, we are importing JSON. Access key and secret access key will be specifying here. I'll be going to this place. I'll be copying the access key. Right. And here I'll be pasting that. I'll be going to secret access key. I'll be copying this particular one. And then here I will paste that. Okay. Right. And then here session. So, if you are not running your code in AWS CLI, you can create Boto3 session and that you can use for connecting different AWS components. So, Boto3 session, AWS access key ID is our access key that is this particular one and AWS secret access key is basically this one, secret access key. And then we have to specify the region also. So, for this particular discussion purpose, I am using this particular region which is US is 1, right? So, here I will be writing US east one okay and then i am creating the resource of dynamodb using the session and in the table i'll be passing the table name which you created right that is demo yt okay right and that's it right so here our session is created now here we need to read one particular json file so for this particular discussion purpose in the google collab by default it will be giving us some sample json this one if you Double click, we'll be seeing that this is kind of a JSON file only. That is series, then X and Y. This kind of values present, kind of array, right? So I'll be choosing this particular one 
for our demo purpose i'll be copying the path i'll be pasting that here okay so basically we are just reading that particular data and json dot load we are using that means basically the particular json string we will load as kind of dictionary okay and we will run this particular one so if i just show you type of records okay it will be basically list okay so list and maybe if i am showing you the first element it will be basically dictionary kind of thing right so we are perfectly fine now dictionary list all our python data structure we can play around this okay so what we are doing we are making count equal to zero so as we have seen that roll number column we created as primary key or partition key right so that should be unique so in this particular dictionary which are basically component of this records list i am traversing for i in records and i am adding one key which is basically unique identifier which is count okay and in each iteration i am increasing the count count equal to count plus 1 so that way it will be always uh, distinct value right and then we are printing the dictionary also and then we are putting the data in the table also right i hope up to this we are all set i will run this particular one okay and see here it is giving some error what is this error float type are not supported use decimal type instead so in dynamo db in this kind of data the float is not supported so if i show you this data you see here x is kind of float type y is also kind of float type so that those are making issue so what i will do i will type cast those to string type okay i of x equal to string of i of x okay same thing i will be doing for the attribute y right i'll close this particular one and that's pretty much it i'll run this particular code now one or more parameter is invalid roll number in i let me go there Okay, so R double L N O we have written here. So okay, let me change to R double L N O. Okay, that is this particular unique key is not there. That's why I, I earlier I just did spell, spelling mistake, so I just corrected. Now let's run this one. so it started inserting and it is perfectly working only for the first time when we ran wrongly that one extra data type came but anyway after all you understood the concept right so if i go to list if i go to this particular place i will go to few items and then here see if i just sort this see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 up to 43 perfectly it is inserted okay right and that's pretty much it that is how you can insert the data from a json file in your dynamodb table using boto3.session and then creating the resource and then read the table and you use json.load so that the json will become dictionary and then you just create one particular distinct key if it is not present if present use that as primary key or else you make this kind of auto increment value if there is something floating type data, then make sure you are type custom to string because DynamoDB don't accept float type. Otherwise, you can convert that to decimal type also, right? And then we are using put item function to put the data in the demo YT table which we created here, right? So the code I'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share, and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now, and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.